everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Hera I live in New York City and I have not uploaded a video in five years so why I feel like five years ago I I was in my 20s I was really insecure I just was striving for this level of perfection that doesn't exist when I tell you I would nitpick everything about myself, like my eyes, uh, my teeth, my background, everything, nothing was good enough. And you know, as I've gotten older, as I've gotten wiser, I've realized that the people on YouTube that I connect with the most just keep it real. I mean like, not everyone has a perfect house or the Instagram aesthetic version of a perfect house, a perfect life, perfect anything. And I think we should just start normalizing just normalcy. I, I, I was striving for something that just didn't exist. And now, you know, now that I'm 32 years old, I'm like, you know what? I still love the same things. I still love fashion, food, lifestyle, travel, makeup, clearly. Um, and I just, you know, want to get on YouTube and enjoy it for the community and amazing space that it is. And so I thought, why not post a handbag review? I have gotten so into designer handbags over the past few years, especially 2020 with nothing else to do. I'm just like online all the time, scrolling, looking at different handbag reviews and, and whatnot. And I um, thought, why not post a review of my own? And so with that being said, 2020, I hope that this video finds all of you and your families well. I hope that you are all, you know, staying positive, doing the best you can. I think that's all any of us can do. And I will continue to pray for the happiness and health and prosperity for everyone around the world this year because it has been tough. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I know that we can do it. And um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? Let's, let's just get started with the video. So the reason I wanted to review this handbag is because if you have been on social media or Instagram at all, you know that Bottega Veneta has been the ish. I mean, you cannot look anywhere without seeing a Bottega Veneta bag pop up. I remember when the pouch first came um, onto the scene, I loved it. Like it's stunning, the little baby dumpling bag that everyone calls it. But I live in New York City and pandemic aside, I take the subway. So. I can't have like a little delicate expensive ass pouch underneath my armpit because I will get on the subway platform, I will drop that shit and it'll be game over. Like I'll, I'll be deaded. I will start crying. And so the chain, the, the pouch actually never really worked out for me. And so then they came out with the cassette bag and they came out with the padded cassette. They're both stunning. They're all stunning. They just weren't, it wasn't just like striking my fancy as much, but then they started putting all these chunky chains on their bags. And so the two that I'm talking about are the chain pouch and the padded chain cassette. And I think the chain pouch is extremely stunning, um, but I feel like it's not something that will stand the test of time. I think that it's a trend that might fade. And the padded chain cassette in its essence is a leather crossbody bag. And I think that it'll have more longevity. So without further ado, well, let me show you guys the bag. This is my baby. This is my new best friend. <sighs> okay, so let me tell you guys a story about getting this bag. The color I wanted was sold out everywhere. So I was just scouring the internet on a daily basis and one day I see on Neiman Marcus's website that they had one left. And so I, you know, chatted with the representative. I was like, I see you have this bag. Will you be sending me a floor model or will it be an actual bag from the store? And they were like, no, it's gonna be a brand new bag yada 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 fast forward i was like take my money send me the bag so they send me the bag and off the bat i notice that the bag doesn't come in a box and so you know i watch a lot of other youtubers on here i watch uh cassie thorpe and she, when she got her i think she got her chain cassette from farfetch it also doesn't come from with, with a box and so my understanding is that bottega veneta does not sell their bags in a, in a box i might be wrong um bottega if you're listening give us boxes i live in a new york city apartment so trying to store this thing in a way that is safe is extremely difficult for me because I'm crammed in here as it is, and I can't let the, you know, the edges of the bag get damaged, but you know, I'm not gonna be salty about a box. So I bought the bag, it's not a deterrent, and here it is. Every time I touch it, I get the feels. Here she is. I'm gonna call her Kiki. Kiki is a chocolate stunner. I got the chocolate color. This bag, 
comes in a bunch of colors, okay? It comes in like your regular neutrals, it comes in bright colors. I am not at the level of um, flex excellency yet where I can get a bright green bag, but if you know, you're know you on that level of, of, of illness and you can go and get a expensive bag that is a bright color, I applaud you. I stick to neutrals because that's what I wear. Um, it has to go with the rest of my wardrobe. And so for that reason, I got brown. I didn't get black, which I was very proud of myself because I have a million, million black bags with gold hardware. Um, I had recently picked up a black Chanel 19 and so I was like, I, I don't need another black bag. <sighs> which brings me to my next point. How much is this bag? This bag was 3,800 US dollars. And so mom, if you're watching this, I apologize. You did not raise me to be this materialistic, but here we are. This bag is an indulgent purchase. I do not consider, I don't consider luxury bags an investment because the only return that you get is the flex. I mean, this bag is not gonna appreciate in value. I'm never gonna be able to sell it for a profit. Even if it becomes like a rare collector's item 10 years down the road, I might, you know, break even at some point, but I don't consider these bags investments. I consider them indulgences, and I think it's a luxury purchase. That's it. I would never ever advise anyone to go into debt for handbags. You should always keep your eye on the prize, be fiscally responsible, make financial decisions that you can look back on and think, okay, well, I didn't, you know, I didn't screw my life up for a little bit of Instagram flex, okay? So with all that, you know, luxury stuff out of the way, I did drop $3,800 on this bag. <clears throat> so let me show you the ins and outs of the bag. The one thing about this bag that really, really bothers me is the closure, but I will get, get to that later. The bag itself is made out of this woven Napa leather on all sides, this side and this side. And so let me open it for you guys. This is the way it opens. It's not like your regular like magnetic closure. It's not like a CC turn lock clasp. It's not anything that I'm really used to with my handbags. So it takes a little getting used to. You have to press down on this part and push out. See, I still have I still have a problem with it. Eventually I will learn. There we go. Okay. And the inside of the bag. I have the chain stored in here because I don't want it rubbing on the outside of the bag. The inside of the bag is completely lined with the same Napa leather. I have an organizer in here because I put organizers in all my bags. They help um, the bag retain shape. And specifically with the inside of this bag, you'll see that it is all leather. It is not lined. There is an inside pocket right here for like your essentials, like wallet, credit card ID, um, but the rest of the bag is not lined. I'm fine with that because I have an organizer in here so it protects the leather, but I do think that, you know, it's 2020, if your hand sanitizer falls in there or a liquid lipstick or something or a pen leaks, it will damage the leather and then me personally, I would be very upset. So I would say if you're gonna get this bag, strongly consider an organizer to protect the inside. As far as the inside of the bag is concerned, um, it fits pretty much all my necessities. Wallets, keys, phone, um, you know, tampons, wet wipes, hand sanitizer, lipstick, mirror, uh, miniature perfume bottle. There's nothing that it doesn't fit. So I feel like, uh, it's extremely versatile. I have taken this back to brunch, the, the one time in the year that I did go to brunch. Um, and I've taken this back to the bodega. Like I have taken the bodega to the bodega. So this is my bodega Veneta bag. This thing, it can go anywhere. It goes with any outfit. It goes with any color. I feel like it's such a statement in and of itself that there's like not even a need for excessive jewelry or anything else because this is basically a piece of jewelry. So now, let me show you guys the closure in detail. So you'll see here that it has like this area for the clasp part to go into. So every time I close it, I have to go like that and then push back. When you open it, you have to push down here and pull out. That scares me because then I feel like there is one part of the bag, which is specifically this middle panel of leather that is consistently getting pressure. I think if you're gentle with it, it should be fine, but it is still something that, that bothers me a little bit. So 
we all know, real talk, the reason that I got this bag is because of these. Are they heavy? I feel like that's everyone's first question. If you're watching this video to ascertain whether or not the Bottega Veneta chain cassette bag chains are heavy, yes they are, they are heavy. But if you're going to make a luxury bag purchase and they roll up with some flimsy chain, I feel like we'd all be just a tad bit upset. I want the durability, I want the, the substance, I want the clankiness, I do not want like a plastic flimsy lane chain. So in that regard, I'm happy with it. The bag can be worn crossbody, on the shoulder, or top handle. I personally wear it top handle. Um, I never wear crossbody, even though I, I'm not a small person. I'm five, nine and a half. So the crossbody hits me perfectly here. And I will show you guys in a couple of clips how I style it. But I prefer it on the shoulder and top handle because I love the way that the chains like kind of organically drape. I have never been classy or sassy enough to be a crook of the arm person. It's just not my vibe. Um, if you're a crook of the arm person, you will have the strongest crook of the arm in the history of the world. Like you will be able to wrestle a bear. So more power to you. I think the bag, you know, it's versatile. It can be worn three ways. Um, it just, however you wear it, it looks like a statement piece. It's basically a massive piece of jewelry by itself. So, you know, for that reason, I think I would give this bag like a nine out of 10. The pros being versatility, the fact that it dresses up any outfit, it can be worn both casually and um, dressy. It fits everything. It, it, there's nothing that I've wanted to put in here that has not fit. I'm not a mom yet, so I don't know if, you know, when I do become one, if this is gonna be the bag I carry around, but for now, it totally works. Um, the aesthetic itself is a major pro. I mean, come on. I might be a little bit of a shallow biatch sometimes but like the kiki you're a 10 out of 10 the cons the only con for me even though it's a bit petty is the closure like it scares me i don't want to get this bag messed up because every time i'm trying to open it i'm like i will get used to it but if you know if we're really picking things apart that's a con i think all in all it's an amazing bag i would highly highly recommend it just look at her. And if you're considering it, I hope that this review was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will be trying to get up videos regularly. Um, as always, I think, what is it these days? Rate, comment, like, subscribe, and be nice. And happy almost new year. Let's get the heck out of 2020. Hopefully 2021 will be prosperous, happy and healthy for the rest of us. And looking forward to engaging with you guys again. Bye. I'm gonna insert a couple of clips of myself styling the bag. And so you guys can see maybe like the different ways to wear it. I am clearly beyond obsessed with this bag. I feel like it's the only accessory you need. I wanted to show you guys uh, ways to style the bag. So this is a super casual outfit, New Balances, crew socks, gray sweatpants, an Aritzia crop, a, a Zara blazer, um, my favorite Louis Vuitton earrings, and the Bottega bag, which literally just goes with everything. Super cute.